Okay, let's try the AD Advancer in my Toyota Corolla. We have to connect this to a BD port under dashboard. We'll search for a device, but to help it connect, we need to start ignition. I already tried it for other vehicle, so I need to go to this pair. Yes, it read car information, go to pair, hit confirm and it should be done. Now even though I do not have any lights on my dashboard, the adapter was able to find some faults and gave me a warning, so let's check. And Advancer actually has multiple features to check for fault codes. We have some fault in air intake system. I think it will be just start old code for unplugging MAF sensor. Fault in control system, whatever that means, and air intake system. Okay, so let's open it. Can we open it or not? Oh, here you have to press fault details. Yes, it's just old code for oxygen, uh, not oxygen, mass airflow sensor, and the same sensor as intake air temperature, because on this car, these two are built in one sensor. And for fault codes, it will let you check freeze frame or erase all codes. Yes, it just told me to turn off engine and turn on ignition, which I already have. So press confirm. Command has been sent and my DTCs are cleared, but that were just historical faults because I didn't have any check engine light before I erased codes. You get multiple options to check fault codes. You can do either quick scan or in-depth check. We can do in-depth, which should be able to scan all my fault codes from all units, not only the engine. Okay, and it found some other fault, because before we seen fault in engine, but I cleared those. So let's check out what fault it found. ECU communication of left rear door. I actually had the door painted and they were removed from car, so that's why I have this code. So this advancer, as the name suggests, is more advanced than basic ELM, because it can scan all modules and find even fault codes from my doors. And then what I can also do, same like with engine codes, I can also clear codes for all other modules. Now checking this page, the advancer is very good to track your fuel consumption data. You just have to have adapter connected at all times, but you don't have to plug it out because it have slip function, so it will not drain your battery. So normally you would have it plugged for maybe one week, two week, or even one month, and then you would get a pretty good estimation of your trips and fuel consumption for this month. But I am more interested about diagnosing features. So other than reading fault codes, you can also see your MIL status. So check engine light status with bunch of extra parameters. For example, mileage driven after fault code cleared. This you could use for checking used car to see if seller just recently deleted some codes before you came to inspect. And you can also see live data, but only for the engine. You will not be able to see live data for all modules. Here we have some basic ones like RPM. Let's try pressing gas pedal and it will start changing battery voltage engine load so very basic set of parameters but if I go here to check more data I will get a full list of engine parameters I can watch and let's check out if it can display graphs or not we can do engine RPM and maybe air flow rate go next Yeah, it probably cannot display graphs. You can at least choose which values you want to look at. You don't have to look at all the values. And then the scanner actually has a lot more functionality. If you go to this application center, you have full OBD2 function. So if you go to this one icon, you will get functionality exactly same like engine code reader. Here I choose my protocol and you got all global OBD modes, read codes, clear codes, live data, freeze frame data. Then here is smog check. So status of your readiness monitors and it will tell you if your vehicle is able to pass smoke check or if all the monitors are okay. It tell me to idle for 3 minutes but I don't want to spend 3 minutes, I just hit start. I think all monitors should be okay and I should pass smoke check. Oh no, no because I erased codes 
and when you erase codes it will reset monitors so engine control module will need some time with engine on to say with certainty that these monitors are okay especially i have catalytic converter monitor and oxygen sensor monitor not ready because i have cold engine and those systems require having high temperature to work properly but then you get also a bunch of extra functionality for example you have battery check you have component test for this car we could test throttle body fuel system airflow sensor we also got a smart dash so you can choose one of these interfaces and watch data like rpm and speed or even make head-up display from your phone performance testing testing your acceleration i am sure this 72 kilowatt hybrid would be very fast and then very useful feature maintenance light reset so when you change your oil and you have car that will require having ability to scanner to reset service interval you can do it with ad20 pro so this x tool ad20 pro adapter it is more useful than basic elm 327 you don't have to pay any subscription software is free with adapter and it will give you a bunch of extra functionality compared to elm 327 and since it is similar price to these elm adapters you might consider getting x tool ad20 I will put link in the description and you can check out more information and current price.